screen. All right, y'all. <clears throat> this is your local random hero here speaking. All right. This video is about good friends. You know, some friends are hard to find. You know, um, one time I was in reading in the Bible, right, and it said sometimes a brother, you know, sometimes a friend could be closer than a brother, which is true. Now, you know, I got you know me and my brother. We somewhat we rarely talk. You know, last time me and him, me and my blood, my half brother actually spoke over the phone was like two or three years ago. You know, we emailed each other, but that's not the same as sitting back here picking up the phone and saying, hey, how you doing type of deal, you know? But, you know, I just, it bothers me a little bit that my brother don't do that. But, if he wants to, if he can't sit back here and call me up sometime and just be want to sit back here and run after women and stuff like that, that's on him, you know? I'm not, like I said, I got love, I got love for Green Eyes, you know, because he's, he's my half-brother, you know? But my other brothers, you know, <clears throat> there's one I got, you know, he's up in Idaho. I love, I love this boy. To, I love this boy to death, you know. Take a bullet for that boy, you know. Um, you know, he's a good friend. He's a hell of a friend, you know. He just sit back here and give me good advice, and just like we go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and he, he'll know when he see this video what I'm talking about, you know. When I sit back here and say, to say Elto Mertz, come here, Elto. You know what I'm talking about. It's just the inside joke, you know. <clears throat> he probably gonna look at this and start bugging out laughing, right? Because he know, you know, he gonna sit back here and look at the situation and be like, <laughs> <laughs> so it's just, you know. Yeah, but you know, but you got some like I said, you got a good friend. He's a very good friend, you know. I love this man. I love this man to death. I love him beyond death, you know. Not many people. When you sit back here and say you love somebody beyond death, you know you got a good friend, you know. <clears throat> When you sit back here and say you're a for somebody, you know you got a good friend. <gasps> when, you know, when she basically, when you be talking, when you when you can sit back and, and meet some friends in, in the world who sit back here and claim that they're friends, but they're not really fucking friends. You know, you got some friends who will sit back here and try to tell you to do, you know, if a friend sit back and tell you to do some shit that, that don't sound right to you, you know, like go out here and tell you to um, get a woman pregnant and when, after you get her pregnant, well, tell her to get an abortion, right? That's not a friend. I'm just trust me, that is not a freaking friend. A true friend, I sit back here and be like, okay, you got a baby, yo, you need anything from me? I'm gonna help you out. You know, if, if he don't have no kids, or if he have kids, yeah, this is what you do. This is what you gotta do. You know, he ain't gonna leave you out there in the wilderness by yourself, because <clears throat> that's not what a friend is. A friend is gonna sit back here and stick through you through thick and through thin, through hell and hell and hell and damnation, through uh, fire and water. You know. <clears throat> Although time's gonna get sticky, you know, he's still gonna, your friend's still gonna be there with you. You know, he's not gonna turn his back on you. He's, just think about this for a second, okay? I want you to think about the tree, okay? Think about how sometimes the wind blows to the left, you know, you got leaves over there, you got wind to blow to the right. Think about them leaves, some of them leaves as people, you know? Some of them leaves gonna, gonna be there on there for a little bit, right? But as you go down the tree, you don't need a basin. You need the roots. That's what you need. You need some good friends. If you find you some good friends, who is it? who who is the roots? Who ain't gonna change? Who's gonna sit back there and help you? Gonna keep you stable and help you grow. Them are friends. Seriously, you know. Once you get your once you get a lot of them, right? You straight. You know. You don't need you don't need no friends that are up there like leaves are gonna sit back and tell you to do some stupid stuff and get you into trouble. You gonna you want some people to sit back here and lead you down and help you build up help you build you up and not you know, it's not gonna be for no, their cynical purposes, you know? A lot of people just don't understand the true meaning of friendship. Friendship, like I said, like I sat back and told tell all of my friends, you know, when they sit back and talk to me, right? <clears throat> friendship is something I take deeply. You know? I take it deeply as I take my religion deeply. You know, because it's hard not it's hard to be in this world by yourself. It's hard to be in this world and sit back and say, Well, I'm not gonna trust nobody. It's hard to do that. Because this world is a lonely, cold place. But friends friends are the ones who make it better, you know? Besides having your like your parents and your wife sit back here re uh, crying over your casket, you're gonna want some of your friends crying over your casket too, because you wanna sit back here and feel the love you wanna feel the love from them too, you know? You got some friends out there, like I said, Super Mecha Sand stating before. Some friends ain't really friends. Some friends are just more snakes and more snakes in the grass. They're more like them leaves that sit back here for them fall fall and autumn leaves, right? They fall off the tree 
and go in the ground and die somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like I said, if you find, if you, if you know a friend gonna sit back and try to tell you to do some, do some evil, rotten stuff, right? Like for instance, right? Um, this is what this is what happened to me. A friend of mine sat back here and told me to sit back here and do something illegal. And I was like, you know, are you? I sat back here and really questioned myself. Are you really my friend? Because a friend is not gonna sit back here and tell you to sit back here. A friend is not gonna sit back here and tell you to sell drugs. Simple as this. He's not gonna tell you to do anything illegal. He's gonna sit back here and help you build up. For the simple fact that. He, a friend ain't gonna want you to be in trouble. A friend gonna want you to sit back here and build up, you know? Build yourself up just like he building himself up. You know, if he sit back here and see you slipping, he gonna grab you, sit back here and shake a knot at you, and sit back here and say, hey, dude, you're messing up. You know? But you got a lot of people who just wanna sit back here and say, well, he grown and stuff like that. You know, that I can't tell that man what to do. He a grown man. No. You got sometimes you gotta sit back and tell your friend that for the simple fact. He is your friend. You know, only friends gonna sit back here and catch you if you fall. A friend gonna be there, even if you, if you, even if you freaking fall, you can sit back here and go to. You can go to basically, you can go to jail, prison for 25 years. That, that you can tell the difference between a true friend and a fake friend. A true friend is gonna be there when you when you go in. He gonna be there while you in there. He gonna be gonna be there when you out. He gonna take care of your family when you in to the to, to until they start breaking his pockets. You know, most people don't know the true meaning of friendship. Most people wanna sit back here and say, "Well, I'm yeah, I'm your friend, I'm your friend, I'm your friend, I'm your friend." And then some of these people who say that they're your friend gonna sit back here and sleep with your wife. That's them. That's one. That's one. Another one is <clears throat> steal from you. Another one is make up lies on you. Another one is back talking. You know. Like I said, if, if, for instance, right? You know, if a person is doing good for themselves, right? You don't never sit back and tell, you don't never chastise about them. You don't say that's a bad idea or you stupid for doing that stuff like that. You sit back and say, yeah, that's a good idea, right? But if it's a bad idea, you got them to say, hey, bro, I don't think this is this is this is good. But I mean, if you if you need some help, let me know. I help you out as much as I can. That's what a friend would do. A f- <clears throat> that's the difference, you know, because you that's like that's where you get the. Uh, uh, Term player haters from You got a lot of people Who play ahead against people You know Nah that nigga ain't gonna do Nothing anyway But they ain't gonna sit back And smile in the face What's up dog? You know you my boy and all But If it's like that I don't want them people around me You know Just like it goes back to the Psalms Blessed are those Who does not sit in the council Of the wicked You got a lot of wicked people In this world Simple as this You know You got a lot of people Who say they one thing But not really that one thing You know But if, But over time They will make themselves apparent you know, because I think all a lot of people try to sit back here and give you a whole bunch of bullshit. You know, like, but like, just like a friend of mine, she gave me a whole bunch of bullshit, and I knew it was bullshit. But I played along with it just to see what's going on with her, see how her thinking pattern is. Because what can I say? I I really like to sit. I really like to sit back here and see how people think. And she tries. She came across like she was the black sheep of the family. But I understand why everything went the way it went down in that situation. But out of that, right? I met I met I met my brother. You know, it's just like I said, this guy is awesome. You know, this guy is really awesome. He know he knew who I'm talking about. You know, that's why I made the joke. Come here, Elton. <laughs> but. <laughs> Like I said, you know, it's just people. Once you meet somebody good, you meet once you meet the, once, you, once you meet the hell of a friend, you know, you know they're gonna stick by you through thick and through thin. They're not gonna tell you no shit. They're not gonna tell you to do no wrong shit, no evil shit. You know, they're gonna always try to help you out. You know, but most friends, to most people in this world, ain't friends. They just poses. All right. This is your local random hero speaking about good people. Okay. I'll talk to y'all folks later. Peace. <laughs>